When you're a junior doctor, especially as a medical student or a foundation year doctor, I think it's easy to get a very pessimistic view of what oncology involves. Most of the time you're looking after inpatients and these are either people who've been newly diagnosed or often at the end of their life. What people don't realise is that a lot of oncology is outpatient based. and Most of the time you're seeing people who are well, who are at home, who are just coming for their routine follow-up and who you get to know over time. A good way to try and experience this is to try and do a taste a week and spend some time in your outpatient oncology clinic if you have one at your hospital. You'll see that with oncology patients you get to see them often over months or many years and build up a relationship with these patients which gives an excellent holistic view of oncology. The thing that sets clinical oncology apart from medical oncology is that we deliver radiotherapy as well as chemotherapy and radiotherapy is, is high energy x-rays used to kill cancer. The, um, the good thing about doing that from a career point of view is that it provides you with a skill that's separate from our normal face-to-face -face patient contact. We have also protected time that you sit um, and exercise, something that really is a hands-on skill and involves liaising with physicists and radiographers um, to provide you with something different from the rest of your job. The, the issue about radiotherapy that puts some people off is the physics component, so you do need to have an understanding of the physics related to radiotherapy, um, but this is something that's taught really well um, as part of the courses that run across the country when you're a first-year registrar. So um, I certainly am not a natural physics head um, and it's something that actually I haven't found as challenging as I thought it would be. Clinical oncology is a very research driven specialty uh, which for us as trainees means that there are a wide variety of uh, research opportunities available to us during our training. Um, there are different areas that we can get involved in, anything from clinical trials through technical radiotherapy, epidemiology, lab biology or medical education. Uh, there are also a lot of funding opportunities uh, which, uh, because of the high profile of cancer, uh, aren't available to many other specialties. Within that research environment you get the chance to uh, translate scientific discoveries into real patient benefits uh, and also to be part of the global oncology community and share ideas. Your introduction to chemotherapy might seem daunting, but remember you are already encountering chemotherapy and cancer whether it's neutropenic sepsis on the A&E wards or nausea and vomiting and pneumonitis on the general medical take, you will be surprised at how much you already know. And what's particularly enjoyable is the relationships you build with people. So analogous to the renal physicians and their dialysis unit, we have our chemotherapy day unit. You get to know the staff, you get to see the patients, sometimes reviewing them week in and week out. And that's a familiarity that's almost lacking in many other specialties. The, um, the satisfying thing about radiotherapy from my point of view is using it both radically and palliatively. So it's really important and can be used as part of curing patients in 50% of patients in the UK. Um, but what I think is more satisfying on an individual level is when you've got somebody in front of you with, for example, pain and you can use radiotherapy as a very effective treatment to deal with their pain with really a minimum of side effects. As most people watching this video will be aware, medical training is hard, uh, there is a steep learning curve and this is true of specialty training uh, in the way that it has been through all stages of your training. What I would say a real positive about clinical oncology is that there is a recognition through that process of the importance of setting aside time to develop research uh, and evaluation skills that are going to make you a more effective clinician in the future and help push boundaries for patients. I find that clinical oncology is a really satisfying career. It's challenging, but it's emotionally very satisfying as well as intellectually satisfying with all the skills and the new technology that comes through. Um, you really feel part of a team, both with nurses and, and surgeons and radiologists, but, but also oncology consultants and registrars are very supportive of each other, and you feel well looked after and valued, as, even as a junior member of the team. In addition, um, the importance of your life outside oncology is recognised, and it's something that certainly I've found it's a very uh, well accepted to work part-time, it doesn't affect your career prospects. Um, and you're able to, for example, do research part-time and work as a consultant part-time. And there's plenty of role models within oncology to support flexible working um, and the importance of having a family. And if you have an interest in the biology of cancer, then clinical oncology effortlessly mixes the two. And that's the pharmacology and the communication skills that you see both in your academics or in the clinic. So get involved with your taster weeks. Keep your eyes out during your CMT training. Cancer and chemotherapy are already very much part of your working lives. Just go on and apply.